Halloween has a long and interesting history. Like Christmas, Halloween is a Christian holiday with some pagan origins. Halloween, or All Hallows Eve, or All Saints Eve, started off as a day when people would prepare to celebrate the dead, including the saints and the martyrs. On that day, they would dress up in costumes to mock the concept of death and probably Satan himself. The Christian festival itself was probably derived from a Gaelic festival called Samhain, which celebrated the end of harvesting and the beginning of the winter months. Halloween has evolved into a day of partying, costumes, and candy. Instead of costumes that mock the dead, most dress up in costumes that parody celebrities and current events. There have been some aspects of Halloween that have survived the centuries, and one of these is jack-o'-lanterns. The jack-o'-lantern of today is usually carved from a pumpkin, but can be carved from a turnip as well. The jack-o'-lantern has the characteristics of a face, with eyes, nose, and a mouth, with sharp tooth-like carvings that give the look of a vampire or something unhuman. They're usually placed on the outside of a person's home because they represent the warding off of evil spirits. The Maori were the first ones to carve into gourds over 700 years ago, but it was the Irish custom of carving into turnips and beets that gave way to modern jack-o'-lanterns. The Gaelic ritual, known as Samhain, was celebrated on the 31st of October to celebrate the end of harvest. The people of that time believed that the spirits and the fairies were particularly active during this time. As different cultures borrowed different aspects of their culture from one another, the jack-o'-lantern evolved at the same time. It was around the 19th century that the folklore of jack-o'-lantern came about. The story tells of a spirit named Jack, who when alive trapped Satan in his wallet and only let him go when he promised not to take his soul. Jack lived a sinful life as a thief, and when he died he couldn't go to heaven, but he couldn't go to hell either, as Satan promised that he would never take his soul. Jack asked Satan to provide him with light as he was in darkness and couldn't see where he was going. So Satan provided him with an eternal ember, and Jack placed it inside his turnips and began wandering endlessly around the world. Jack-o'-lanterns in all forms have been seen as a way to ward off evil spirits, which is why they're usually placed on the porch or on the front lawn. Instead of turnips, we use pumpkins because the Irish immigrants who came to North America saw how much softer pumpkins were and started using them. The jack-o'-lantern has a very interesting story, and it has an interesting future, too. We hardly ever carve the traditional face into a pumpkin now. Instead, we make crafty carvings of popular figures, logos, and symbols. Sometimes we don't even carve them, opting for ready-made options at Walmart. But whatever they're made from or whatever their meanings are, jack-o'-lanterns are and will continue to be a traditional part of Halloween.